Newcastle United 3, Sheffield United nil. Not even you thought that was going to happen. This is the last word, and we're going to be talking about that fabulous win today. Hi everyone, how you doing is alright, so you may have seen the three live streams that we've done earlier on today, something a little bit different for the channel, I know the uh, the fan reaction one, we've done really really well, so thank you for all your feedback for that, but this is the last word, and as you know, people who have been long time subscribers uh, on this channel, we're going to be taking a look at the two lineups. we'll talk about the first half, second half, we'll hear from reaction from Steve Bruce and one of the players, and we'll also hear from Johnny, he's going to have something to say on Joe Litton's performance today as well, and also, NFTV Extra has had an upload as well. Kyle has done his quick thoughts over on the second channel. So after this video, pop on over. The link is in the description for that channel. So yeah, fabulous, what a winner. What a win it is today. Right, let's have a look at the tunes lineup. And we were debating, of course we were in the previews, who was going to play down the right flank because we didn't know if Matt Ritchie was going to be fit or not. But it was Matt Ritchie, if it wasn't him, a lot of the lads were saying it was going to be Lazaro, but the question mark was round about who was playing right back. Is it going to be Yedlin, who had 90 minutes in the last friendly, or was it going to be Javier Manquillo? Bruce went for Manquillo, a little bit more safe at defensively. If we take a look at Sheffield United's team, only one change from their controversial draw, because obviously it was a clear goal, against Aston Villa. John Fleck come in for John Lundstrom, who I thought that was a little bit harsh on Lundstrom, but Chris Wilder made those changes, and it was only the one change for the Blades. So going at the game, when you're looking around the stadium, you think you're looking at the banners, a lot of sports direct on it, which we're not going to talk about that because we're not going to speak positively today. Obviously, we've seen the, the Toon lads Play, pay their respects for the Black Lives Matter campaign, rightly so. Um, so that was nice to see. And then we've got it, the action, and of course we've seen, I've, seen, I've watched a lot of Bundesliga games. If you do follow me on Twitter, my own personal Twitter, here it is. Follow me, I talk and tweet nothing about football. All football, of course it is. So have a look at that if you want to give us a follow. But into the first half we go. I thought Sheffield United started probably the bright half, probably the first 10 to 15 minutes. And Newcastle started to come out the blocks. We've seen Shelby have a long ranger. But more importantly, well I say more importantly, it's not now because we've won the game. Where Almiron plays in Joe Litton. Joe Litton's movement off the ball is fantastic. He's through on goal and he just scuffs it. It's really poor. It's, it's, it's shocking. He's got to be hitting that with his left across Dean Henderson. But no, he fluffs at it. But then we're seeing the little in the, the main talking point, which of course is the game as the red card later on with uh, Egan, who's a former Mackham. He has a little bit of a scuffle with Joe Litton where it's, it's a bit of handbags. I think yellow card for both of them, personally, is a bit harsh. Yes, I know they came and put their foreheads together, but there was no movement with the foreheads. Referee Cooch should have just said, nah, forget it, lads, behave yourselves. But he booked both from that would that would cost Egan. Going in, okay, nil-nil. You're thinking, would you take a point against Sheffield United? Because probably I would. But things got really, really good in the start of that second half. Only five or six minutes in. Joe Litton bursting through on goal, Egan's pulling at him, the referee blows him, gives him the second yellow card, sends him off, so Joe Layton doing something good for a change, which is always good to talk about, because it's rare, but he's sent off, and then you're thinking, okay, you've got 40 minutes to play against 10 men, you've got to go and dominate now, you've got to go and score at the very least, and very shortly after that, it was a gift, Matt Ritchie finds himself on that left-hand side, I think it's a poor cross, he will get the assists, but... Um, Ender Stevens is all over the place. He's he kind of it's 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 Poland. It's put it's shocking defending. But Alan Saint Maximum doesn't care. He retweeted us today. Thanks, Alan. He put it in the back of the net. Newcastle go one 0 up, and then you're thinking one 0 up against ten men. Yeah, this should be pretty comfortable. And it was to be fair. I think that was the game changer. That's that five minute spell with the second yellow in the first goal changed the game. We see Matt Ritchie score an absolute when he when he first when he first hit it. I thought, oh, the keeper's got to do better. But when you've seen the replay behind the goal and it swerves outside, it's a fabulous finish. We've seen some magnificent goals this weekend. And Matt Ritchie, fantastic. 2 0 up. Game is dead and buried. It was. We've seen the changes made by both sets of teams by Wilder and Bruce. 
but it was game over. Even Joe Litton, if Joe Litton scores against you, you know you've had a bad day. But build up on the left hand side, Joe Litton, where he needs to get in that box a lot, lot more. Well, yeah, from Johnny, what he says about him, puts it in the back of the net. Newcastle looks so easy. 3 0 winners. The double over Sheffield United. We were down there when we played shocking. We did play shocking, but still won 2 0. And say that you've done the double over a team who's trying to fight for Europa League, it's credit as credit was due to Steve Bruce. Sam give him a 9 out of 10, Johnny give him a 10 out of 10, Rob give him a, a 10 out of 10 in the score in the players video earlier on so Bruce has done fantastically well today and you've seen with the record that home teams don't do very well when there's no crowd and he put that to bed didn't he and I have to say it felt very strange for me as an individual watching the game not being there because this is the first one I've missed home and away that was a bit torturous for me but more importantly Newcastle got the win if we have a quick look at the league table now Newcastle move up to 38 points I've been saying for a while that I think one more win to get with to 38 I think we are safe now I think that's it and I think in Newcastle could probably go on to relax a little not to not relax that's not the right term um, possibly try and get another target, maybe catch Arsenal, because we're only a few points, a couple of points off Arsenal, which is mental, considering how bad they've been, but Newcastle look very promising, obviously beating Southampton now, and beating Sheffield United, and we've got Villa on Wednesday night, but before we hear from Johnny, we're going to get a bit of reaction, match reaction from the game, here it is. Back-to-back -back wins in the Premier League, it's very, very difficult, but please for everybody concerned, you know, we couldn't have gone any better for us, we looked, we looked well physically, you know, of course, the big moments in the game went our way, but uh, I was very pleased the way we were against, uh, you know, we've, we've beaten now a Sheffield United team, we're a good team, we've beaten them now twice, so i um, very, very pleased with everybody. I'm really happy, it's what I said before, the most important for me is to win, and if I can score and help my team, it's uh, really good, but I think today it's a really team win because it's uh, we win 3 nil. we work hard for win this game against a really difficult team uh, Sheffield they are in good position seven and we do everything for for start good and uh, win this game and uh, to win this game 3 nil, it's really good for the confidence and those pictures are not owned by us courtesy of NUFC TV so that was Steve Bruce and one of the players, so fantastic that Newcastle have got the win and I want to talk a little bit about Joe Linton's performance because he was a little bit in, little bit indifferent today, started not so great, muscled, muscled around, put himself about, helped us get a man get sent off, he did, and he scored as well and this is what Johnny thought about his performance today. What a performance by Newcastle's number nine, we haven't said that too many times this season. Joe Litton getting his first goal in the Premier League at St. James's. I thought he was brilliant today. He really gave Sheffield United's three centre-halves a real handful today. He was out battling them. He was just making things happen for Newcastle going forward, which obviously doesn't hasn't happened much this season. Um, and effectively, he did get John Egan sent off for Sheffield United today. He obviously got into a little bit of a spat in the first half. And I thought two yellow cards were harsh for Egan and... Joe Linton at the time, but it definitely worked into our favour in the second half. And he was like a rash, was Joe Linton towards uh, John Egan, and he just couldn't handle him really. And it was actually a really, it was a brave decision really from the referee to send Egan off, but Joe Linton deserved it. And Newcastle really merited all three points from Joe Linton getting Egan sent off. And obviously he rounded it with a fantastic finish, couldn't miss, you'd like to think, but. Um, no, it was a really good performance from Joe Litton and hopefully, hopefully from now to the end of the season you can get a few more goals and hopefully help Newcastle climb the table and maybe if you can get a goal against Manchester City you might take us into the semi-finals of the FA Cup but I'm not getting too carried away. <laughs> but no, he was a handful, he was a nuisance but more performances like that will silence the critics and he has had a lot of critics and maybe the fact that there hasn't been fans at St James's or there's not going to be fans at St James's from now to the end of the season will only help Joe Linton from now to the end of the season. He's got one goal. How many goals do you think he will get from now to the end of the season? I'd like to think he could potentially get five goals. If he could do that, then I think that's not bad considering the season he's had from up to now. But if he can become an out-and-out -out better striker and make that position his own, that will really help Newcastle because we haven't got a massive, you know, fantastic options in terms, in terms of Newcastle United strikers. But yeah, fantastic performance, Jolin. Hopefully he keeps it up. And yeah, fantastic performance and a win. 
nothing better on a Sunday night. Fantastic. So there you have it. That was Johnny's performance with Joe Linton. And that is a wrap for you, everybody. So coming up, of course, we've got another live preview for you. So if you want to get involved, that's the interactive one where you can come in to the preview. So if you want to get involved in that, we've seen it today. We had fans from South Africa. Uh, we had one from Hong Kong, Sydney, Atlanta, near Amsterdam. So we've been a little bit all over the globe today with the rea the fan reaction show, which we've done earlier. But come on in. But thank you very much. Hit that video if you like it. If you're happy that Newcastle won today, give that a big massive like. Thank you very much, everyone. Enjoy the rest of the weekend. See you later. Ta-da. Bye-bye.